In a recent blog post, AMD might have hinted at the end of the 4GB entry-level graphics card era as we get closer to the launch of the first RDNA 2-powered Radeon RX graphics cards. The blog post is cleverly titled Gain Beyond 4GB and compares AMD's most entry-level Navi-based Radeon RX graphics card, the RX 5500 XT, in both 4GB and 8GB flavors and shows how the increased VRAM size not only delivers better performance, but has become crucial from a support point of view in next generation AAA titles. Currently, AMD's entry-level Radeon RX graphics card lineup consists of the RX 5500 series, which has two variants, one with 4GB of GDDR6 and the second variant with 8GB of GDDR6 memory. In addition to its Navi-based cards, AMD's older Polaris-based options continue to sell large volumes and have several options to select from, with the majority being 8GB variants that we saw become a standard in the last generation of Polaris offerings. AMD in its own testing reports up to 24% performance improvement in AAA titles using the 8GB Radeon RX 5500 XT versus a 4GB variant. Modern titles such as Borderlands 3, Call of Duty Modern Warfare, Forza Horizon 4, Ghost Recon Breakpoint, Doom Eternal, and Wolfenstein 2 The New Colossus were tested, all of which showed a marked improvement over the 4GB option. In addition to better performance, AMD acknowledges the graphics card with insufficient VRAM can lead to several other issues, some of which include error messages and warning limits, lower frame rates and gameplay stutter, and texture pop-in issues. And what's more important here is that AMD's minimum VRAM tier card is also the RX 5500 XT, and this blog post hints at us where the company is headed with its next generation offerings. 8GB and 6GB options in the entry level market have become the norm as we can see with AMD's 8GB RX 5500 XT offering while Nvidia still offers its entry level GTX 1650 Ti in a 4GB flavor. Now the GTX 16 series mainstream lineup starts with 6GB offerings replacing the 3GB GTX 1060 offerings from the Pascal generation. Now, AMD has always been at the forefront of offering increased VRAM and new memory technologies with its graphics cards. The Radeon 300 series was the first card to put the 8GB memory as a standard when Nvidia was offering 4GB and up to 6GB on its high-end offerings. AMD was also the first to dive into HBM standard with its 4GB Radeon R9 Fury X and pushing the boundaries once again with 8GB of HBM2 on its first generation Vega and up to 16GB of HBM2 on its ultra premium options such as the Radeon 7. AMD and Nvidia currently offer similar memory configurations on the high-end cards as the Radeon RX 5700 XT and the RTX 2070 Super, but with the launch of AMD's Radeon Navi RDNA 2 GPUs approaching, could we see a bump from the 8GB to higher memory configurations on the higher-end cards while the entry-level Radeon RX RDNA 2 cards can offer anywhere from 6 to 8GB, which would set the bar higher for the competition too. AMD's first priority with its next generation RDNA 2 GPUs will be the PC market in the form of Big Navi before moving on to console segments. It is likely that a Navi refresh at lower prices, but AMD plans RDNA 2 to power its entire top to bottom lineup, so we'll definitely see entry level and mainstream options with higher VRAM after the Big Navi enters the GPU market. For more on this and other news, follow the link in the description and make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so that we don't miss you in the next one.